all right we back man we finna hit the we hit the we finna hit the divination is it is it divination divination i don't know but on my way here i realized that professor onai is onai's mom i can't remember the girl's first name but uh natty there you go that's her mother and i assumed that she was working at the school that natty previously went to where they don't use wands to do their magic or whatever but i never knew that she worked here <laughs> and we gotta climb a ladder to get to this class which is crazy which is honestly crazy but hey exercise i just walk right into a chest I saw me in the background. I was getting busy. <laughs> uh, I don't. I, I'm confused though. This is our first time taking this class. I'm shocked they didn't have the whole like introduction thing like they have for like all the other classes. But it is what it is. Let's go talk to Professor. I hope those assignments were challenging enough for you. They were. I've completed all of my tasks, Professor Onai. Very well done. Although I must admit, I did have something of a premonition that you would follow through. Now, as you have no doubt sharpened your perception by completing my assignment, I am curious, based upon the knowledge that one's present and even one's past may reveal traces of what is to come, what do you see in your own future? I can't get rid of this feeling of a coming danger. I see. Know that such omens are not damning if they can at least prepare us. And you are preparing yourself even now. But this talk of tomorrow should not divert us from your present success. I shall inform our good deputy headmistress of your exemplary performance. And if that performance is any omen of what your future may hold, then I, for one, see great things. Channel your magic towards your what? targets. We learning this the cinder. <laughs> All right. You have it now. Why? Let's see what the cinder do. Descender. Oh my god! I think you have it. We, we, we just we just damn dangerous. <laughs> Confringo! Defender! I don't like how this dummy Glacier. be looking at me. Descender! Man, that gentleman just fell out. It was like I can't even do nothing no more. This kid is oh. ridiculous. Wait, what's up here? Revelio. All right, come on, man. Y'all see the drip, though? All right, so we're going to do one more class, and then we're going we gonna, to... Uh, I, I was about to say something crazy. <laughs> we're going uh, to do the next class, and then we're going to uh, do, these, do these quests. Reporting back, Professor. Assignment's all finished. Well done. Shows good discipline. Wisdom is a golden snitch, as they say and you're proving a skilled seeker in that regard. Let us practice our restore momentum. 
a charm, incidentally, created to stop quaffles from plummeting straight to the ground during a Quidditch match. Precise, deliberate movements. I did, oh, I messed up. I messed up. No. Come on, come on. Arresto momentum. All right, man. Let's see what Arresto momentum do. Does my fault. I want to know real quick. Not that one. There you go. I be seeing people use that. And I think this one. That one just it says kills enemies instantly. Like, I want that. I need that for boss fights. Like, I had to fight a troll to get the uh, Professor Onai's. Uh, or was it this one? No, nah, it was Professor Onai. So. so I can just pause stuff. Very good. I recommend practicing your new spell as much as possible. Perhaps before you leave here. Arrest the momentum. So that's it. Keep there we on. go. There we go. I'm different. All right, man. So we got the two classes out the way. Of course, we probably won't. We're going to have some more classes. I like that they give them like two at a time so you can get them over with. But we got another class. But this is a main quest. So let's go ahead and uh, go to Beast class. This Welcome, everyone. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, none of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous, especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. Now, it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy, Poppy Sweeting. Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. Oh! Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. Here. You can practice on Gerald. Just keep an eye out for his tongue. <laughs> oh my god. You can use my brush. Just be gentle. Oh, and think pleasant thoughts. I like to think it enriches his experience. I was about to say, I can read my mind. All right. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> That's lovely. I'm sure he feels much better. I think he, he messed with her. Would you mind giving him some beef? Uh, let's give him some food. Let's give him some food. What do you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, I like to think. <laughs> I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. That's good news. Oh, what about he you, seems though, Poppy? Very nice. You, you're is. just a little too excited. Kindness is one of his best qualities. Right after ambition and cleanliness. Good work, everyone. Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. And please, do be careful as you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the measles in the farthest pen? This way. The measles are over here. Oh, so is this gonna be like our introduction to the uh I can't think about oh, what that bird name is. Couple of measle whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from honey jukes. <laughs> Stupid thing. What in Merlin's name are you doing? Tus tus peculiar poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent? Her name is Persephone! <laughs> Her name is Persephone! <laughs> That's really not funny. <sighs> Let's go.
Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. You see how he put his ass in his place? Coaches in training. Persephone you was see how he put that boy in his place? Thank you for your help. Let's carry on. I like the Feed way they wrote the, uh, the main character. Alright, can I, do I just stay, I do it from out here or? <laughs> Her knees was really took to you. They know a good egg when they see one. <laughs> As do I. Yo. It appears our time Stop has flying. come to an <laughs> end. Please close the pens and see How yourselves yeah, I peeped up. It, man. Now. Where is our new student? I'm, you're ah, looking right at me. What the hell? Are. I would like a moment, please. You want to give me some some extra assignments? Hello, Professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast lesson? I thought it was pretty cool. I ain't gonna lie. We ain't really we ain't really do nothing it was crazy. Wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good. You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly, which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Professor. I thought I They're did a good job. as bad as the savages in Rookwood's poacher pack. Sadly, we're the ones who suffer. Stumbling over dead beasts. Terrible waste of resources. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. The Ministry, perhaps? Hmm. An optimistic idea. Now, why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the other fifth years. Be on the lookout for my owl. Meanwhile, I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. I knew it was coming, man. Hey, they keep giving me that extra come work. On. What you want, Poppy? Do you need something, Poppy? Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good thing. It's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. At least that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. We're of a similar mind. Actually, in light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. You've intrigued me. Very well, lead the way. I'd hoped I would. Yo, I hope she show me to that damn bird horse. I wouldn't <laughs> take just anyone there. In fact, you're the first. Yo, that's not... Really? Well, thank you. I think. <laughs> As I said, we think alike. Pleasant surprise. One thing I did notice is that the the main <gasps> character is quite the low key tall. Having. Don't you think? Poppy, where are you taking me? <laughs> it really is much better if I just show you. Yo, is she about to pull out some Don't crazy worry. beasts? We're nearly there. It's oh, just no. ahead. Stand back. Magnificent. Go on, introduce yourself to her, but be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. I don't think I've ever seen a hippogriff take to someone this quickly. 
You can feed and brush her if you'd like. Right, I come right. and check on her every once in a while. Give her pasties, tell her what's going on in the castle. You wouldn't know from looking at her, but she's a dreadful busybody. Good. So, what did you think of High Wing? I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and High Wing cross paths? It's a longer story. But I rescued her from poachers a few years back, got her to safety, and, well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area, so I worry they could get her again, and that I might not be there next time. Professor Howen mentioned the poachers as well. She seems to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. The poacher's influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, lingering, talking to people. They're up to something. I'm just not sure what. That does seem strange. Sounds as if they're planning something. Exactly. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on, what they're doing. I think that's a fine idea. Information is power. And the more I know, the better I can keep High Wing safe. You seem undeterred. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope. Alright, I was trying to figure out the name of that, uh, of that thing that the whole time the cutscene was playing, and it's a freaking hippogriff, so... <laughs> I was, I don't know why I was thinking of a, um, I kept think I kept wanting to call it a griffin, but, uh, I think that might be from like something else. So either way, man, I ain't gonna lie. That's probably one of the, uh, Poppy is probably one of the, like the best characters, like at least like side characters, like personality wise so far besides, I want to say, um, I want to say Sebastian. Like, I don't know. Like, um, I feel like they so far they've been the ones to show the most like, like emotion, like a related relatability. So, I don't know. I do mess with Natty though. Natty's pretty cool. Like all the like, don't get me wrong. Like all the characters are actually like really cool. So, but I'm saying like so far like. Like in terms of like showing like, you know, like motivation or like emotion or like interest or things like that. But like those two are been, you know, this the standouts in in this side character so far. Also the um the I like the design of the the flying teacher. And the uh and the guarding and the um you know the uh herbology class teacher, I think those were also pretty cool who are you mm. sign up all right man let's let's go ahead and get on to the next quest man all uh... all right so since i feel like the since i feel like the the talk with Serona is going to pretty much like advance the plot. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do the quest that comes be what well, I don't know if it comes before, but I'm going to do the the lesser quest. <laughs> and then we'll, uh, you know, we'll go we'll go to the uh, the three groups to talk to Serona. So I'm going to see y'all when we get the Gladwin Moon. Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. 
First, uh, please allow me to apologise if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not! Uh, um, from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. If you wouldn't mind humouring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. Ooh, odd little contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed, which, incidentally, can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now, and I'll explain more as we walk. Uh, ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. You see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will, uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. This one took the form of a demiguise. A demiguise? <gasps> yes! Terrifying creature that can see the future. Wholly unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, those statues are demigises. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play on my name. Some jackanapes used a boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why me? A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. Second, as macabre and hideous as a demiguise is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I, I simply can't bring myself to go near them. In fact, I know of two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them so uh, I can go about my evening duties. Why would I do this? Seems all risk and no reward. Oh, rest assured, there's very little risk, and there is, in fact, a reward. I will teach you a particularly useful spell. Mm. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Mm. You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However will you get in? Mm. Alahamora, that's how. But what about curfew? You? Oh, tosh! I sense you're a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. <laughs> and I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, now, you'll find one statue in the prefect's bathroom and the other in the hospital wing. Good luck. Oh, and thank you. Oh snap, we finally gonna get this spell to unlock these doors. No more locked doors. All right, man, we gonna equip that thing instantly. We only got a, a few more spells left, man. We are, we are almost diggity done. Unless they wanna, you know, like add some more, but other than that. Where's, where's the spell at? Oh boy. 
Is it up here? No. Uh -oh. Y'all probably looking at me like I'm crazy. Like, how does he not know where the spell is? Oh, I I don't I don't even have to. Hello, Hamora. Wow. Wait, what? What? All right, move the sparks and rotate the dials until both corresponding gears are activated. There we go. We in there. We in there. Well done. You're in. Remember, use a disillusionment charm so no one claps eyes on you. This is a restricted area. All right. Uh, man, we finna be breaking in houses. You know how many chests I done seen? Yo, I ain't gonna lie, man. This game. This game is literally like the Harry, like the, I don't know, I was about to say Harry Potter, but. This game is literally like bully, like I, I'm not gonna lie, man. It made me wanna go and play. Oh wait, hold up, hold up. Revenue. Hey, look at all these chests. Oh wait, he's going down. We got to get these. We got to get these. Wait for it. Fuck. All right. Hold up. Hold up. Here we go. <laughs> hey, like what's with all that smack? All that slapping. I think that statue can see me. That statue can see me. I don't know if it can talk though, but it can see me though. Just thieving. Just straight thievery. Rather poorly, I'd say. Shit. Is that so? Uh, we're raising a generation of coddled cape flappers that can Damn, all these got daggone steps. Wait, hold up. Love you, son. Ah. Hey, you. This must be the prefect. He is bad at his job. That man was bad at his goddamn job because he should have bagged me. I guess I could probably only do level one locks. I wonder how you upgrade this. talking about somebody not scared of no goblin rebellion are you ready to fight are you ready put your life on the line oh that's the wrong one. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. wait wait flying about and the golden snitch rather a lot like life isn't it come on let's get out of here let's get out of here let's go let's go let's go let's go let's go if there ever is one fuck i suppose you should 
I'm so glad they didn't hear that. What is my stupid ass doing, man? I've always said this. Trouble broadens the mind. I gotta follow them all the way down. Revenio. Come on, we can we can do this. Disillusionment. Sound like a psychonauts term. <laughs> Return additional moons to okay. That's that's how we're gonna be able to. Uh, Revelio. I was wondering how we were gonna be able to. Uh, I was wondering how we were gonna be able to upgrade that, and it seems that we, the moons are the way. So it's similar to like the broom. Uh, when you upgrade your broom, you gotta go. Um, basically do like a task for the the dude that makes the brooms and hogs me. Hackett, what you doing? Hello, Mr. Moon. I have the moons you asked me to collect. Oh, goodness. You're as fearless as I'd hoped. An excellent start. Uh, if we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Of course, I first suspected Peeves. He drove the previous caretaker, rancorous carp, to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. But that does not explain the bogger in Oxme, does it? No. I am determined with your help to discover the identity of my tormentor. It's definitely intriguing. I'd like to help you solve this mystery. Uh, you, my friend, are a gentle person and a, a scholar. And I have something to offer in exchange for your assistance. Now, remember, the moons are only retrievable at night. Thus, I encourage you to use a disillusionment when necessary. How many statues are there to find? I don't know precisely, but I've spotted dozens. Seems they're everywhere I look. You have your work cut out for you, if you were to ever unravel their meaning. You mentioned offering something in exchange for my assistance. I did. Uh, once you've brought me enough moons, I'll show you even more powerful forms of Alahamora. Not every lock is as easy to pick as the faculty towers. Understood. I shall keep an eye out. I appreciate that. Oh, and I knew you were the one to ask for help. Uh, keep at it so we can solve this mystery. Yeah. Alright, man. Let's go ahead and make our way. Let's go ahead and make our way. Hello, Miss Ryan. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Rookwood and Harlow the day of the troll attack. Serona, please. And I was happy to help. Oh, those two are nothing but trouble. Glad you and your friend were here when they found you. I am too. You were speaking to a goblin here that day. Yes, Lodgog. <sighs> He's a friend. It seems as though you were on good terms with him. I've known him for years. We met when I was waiting tables here as a student, well before I bought the place. He was cordial enough, but we weren't friends then. His mistrust of wizard kind ran deep. But you're friends now. We are. I hadn't seen him in years when he came in a few months ago. But he recognized me instantly, which is more than I can say for some of my own classmates. It took them a second to realize I was actually a witch, not a wizard. Not all goblins are like Ranrock and his loyalists. Lodgok is as worried as the rest of us about what's been going on. In that case, I'd like to talk with him about Ranrock in particular. Where might I find him? I assume your interest is to do with the rumors I've heard about Ranrock working with our friend Rookwood. It is. If he's not here, you might find him doing business at the Hog's Head. 
He's a trusted metal trader. You should mention that we spoke. He can, understandably, be wary of witches and wizards, even ones as young as you. That said, if you're looking for information on Ranrock to help rein him in, you'll find an ally in Lodgok. Have you heard what Ranrock and Rookwood are working on together? Not much more than the fact that they seem to have some sort of uneasy alliance. Friendship between wizards and goblins is rare enough, but between those two, they each want something the other has. I can guarantee it. That said, I fear they're like a two-headed serpent. Both will need to be taken down to stop whatever scheme they've been plotting. You seemed unfazed by Rookwood and Harlow the other day. They don't scare you. They're bullies, plain and simple. Never tolerated them in my own life and certainly won't tolerate them going after my friends. Don't misunderstand me. They're dangerous wizards and shouldn't be trifled with. They should, however, be confronted and reminded, whenever possible, that the rest of us have each other's backs. Thank you, Serona. If you find Lord Gog, please give him my best. I don't know what you've done to make such powerful enemies, but please, watch your back. I will do that. I ain't gonna go too much into it, you know, like the... Uh like the controversial topic or whatever but i like the way that they did uh Serona's character you know it doesn't really feel like um it doesn't necessarily feel like it was forced right now demi guys you know what i'm saying like that's just all i that's all i'll say on it <laughs> don't be stingy good to see you outside the cafe you too are meat welcome to the og's head any empty seat is yours. Oh, I'm, I'm, he's, he's a beast. I'm just drinking. What's these? What's these? Some peanuts? <laughs> you we in fire, guys? Hello, Lord Gok. Sorona said I might find you here. She did, did she? Did she send you with news? No. Actually, I wanted to speak with you. It's about Ranrock. Now I remember. The three broomsticks. Day of the troll attack. You're the student he's after. I am. And I need to know what he and his loyalists are up to so I can stay a step ahead. Let's say I did know. Why should I trust you? Sorona trusts me and she thought our interests may be aligned. Hmm. Well, if Sorona trusts you, very well. I may know of something that could help us both. A way to get Ranrock to confide his plans to me. I'm listening. Years ago, a heinous witch stole a sacred goblin relic. Rumor has it that it now rests in her sarcophagus, in a tomb accessible only by wizard kind. Ranrock and I had a, a falling out a while back. The relic could well repair the chasm between us. If I retrieve the relic, how do I know you'll tell me the truth about what Ranrock says? We will have to trust each other. I, that you will not abscond with the relic, and you, that I'll share what I learn. Gather whatever supplies you may need, and meet me near the witch's tomb. I ain't gonna lie. He didn't present himself like this when we first met him uh, at the Three and Broomsticks. And with the way he acted now, I for surely don't trust him. And then the, uh, I think the crazy thing is, is that Sorona said she hadn't talked to him in years prior to him coming back, right? And as soon as I'm coming back to school, as soon as I'm coming to school, now he wanna show up. Shit ain't, it ain't adding up, man. It ain't adding up. It ain't clicking. Now that I got this little lock ability, now everybody will have level two locks. That's I'm pissing ready. me off, Loki. Good. There's no time to lose. What precisely is the relic I'm to retrieve? A valuable heirloom known as the Helmet of Urtgot. The witch considered herself a collector and purchased the helmet as a trinket. She cared not what pain she caused the goblins. Goblins believe that the rightful owner of any object is its maker, not its purchaser. Wizard kind see things differently. It's a wonder goblins and wizards have ever been able to work together. The differences between our kinds are myriad. 
They seem to be. It may surprise you to know that I do not believe those differences always to be insurmountable. It is the reason I find myself traveling with you to this tomb today. Nah, I'm watching out for you, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, sleep with one eye open with this dude. Cause I, he just give me them vibes, man. And then he's close to Rain Rock, where he was. Before they, like, fell out, he was close to Rain Rock, which is, I don't think that's a good thing at all, honestly. Damn, we walking a good little distance, or maybe he's just walking. You know, he's short, so you might he might just be walking a little sh a little slow, but like we ain't really getting nowhere. intrusive thoughts they be getting me man i'm just waiting until i see a a nice little cliff and jump off it <laughs> in the game with the broom ah and there it is the witch's tomb dreadful looking place isn't it Didn't, I think I've been here before. Like, just, like, free roaming? Didn't I do this, uh... I wish you luck retrieving the helmet. As a wand carrier, you should have an advantage. Now, before you set off, do you have any questions? What about this helmet makes it so special? The helmet of Urtgot is an ancient and storied relic, forged during a time of unity among the goblin clans. It inspired greatness, that is, until it was no longer ours. Then it became something else. A symbol of what has been lost, of all that wizard kind has taken from us. Reclaiming it would mean a great deal to goblin kind and to Ranrock. He would be grateful to me should I return it. Don't suppose you have any idea what could be waiting for me inside the tomb? Considering a dark witch was involved, I suppose there's a chance you may encounter the Dark Protectors, known as Inferi. The foul creatures thrive on darkness and the cold. Vanquish them with light, force, and most effectively, fire. It seems Ranrock and Rookwood are conspiring. Why would that be? I had heard this. When the Dark-Hearted conspire, they seldom make their full intentions clear to one another. I can only speculate, but I imagine their alliance is uneasy and quite fragile. Let us hope that ours is less so. It all seems clear to me now that we're here. I do hope our alliance proves fruitful. Again, I wish you luck. I will remain uh, here, eagerly awaiting your return. Please. Before we go in, let me, uh... Because I think, I think we better fight them little skeletons, so... Let me, uh... Let's go crazy. I didn't do this to him. I've done a I've done a few dungeons though. Lord. They're not really I don't know, they're not like Elden Ring Rebellion. extensive dungeons, which isn't a bad thing. I ain't gonna like I'm not shitting on the game or nothing, but like they're they're mostly just go in here and um You know, you solve a little puzzle to get the door open. It's and then you know, you just go in there and get the, the items out the chest. Moths. Curious. Oh, it's not moving. We probably got to use Lumos for this. Lumos. There we go. I got the thing. Uh, 
I got the little upgrade for... Lumos. I got the little upgrade that like where you could uh it's a talent where you could basically have like classes set up. I need to equip that because like going out through uh, just switching through spells is a little tedious. I think it's like the golden snitch scarf. <laughs> This can't be the witch's tomb. Likely I need to go further. Confringo! Lumos! Alright, I think we might gotta use... Depulsa. Here we go. Yo, I'm I, I, I'm low key smart, man. Don't don't sleep on your boy. Really nice. I be figuring these little these little puzzles out. I will not take the chance. I just won't do it. Probably gonna have to I do have a more, feeling though. I'm not alone here. Bit of the loot. <laughs> Revelio Lumos. If I could power it somehow, it looks like it could be rotated. Uh, maybe we gotta use Flipendo. Lumos. Flipendo. Lumos. Flipendo. Or maybe Depulso. <laughs> Depulso. Lumos. I don't know. And now that I think about it, I don't know why the hell I just tried to choose a uh, flippendo. <laughs> the flipping spell. That's. <laughs> Lumos. Oh, all right. What's up here? Is it a secret? Revelio. Oh wait, 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 wait. Um, I feel like I'm supposed to use these bones to uh to build the bridge, but I'm not sure how I'm supposed to get this done. Lumos. Protego. I'm about to cheat. <laughs> Fuck. Uh. 
Oh, they worked me down. They knew. They knew. Uh, damn. Akio, in Guardian Leviosa. Oh, I did it. Akio, in Guardian Leviosa. Made it. I did all that. Revelio. What's that hanging there? Looks precarious. Down I go. No other way. Did you not see this door? What do you mean, no other way? Repairer. Depulsor. Revelio. Lumos. I, s I didn't even need to do the. Uh, I didn't even need to use the uh, the box. I just I just cheated. Wait 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 wait. There's more stuff. Yo, I was scared, Lucky. I ain't, it was a little dark down there. I didn't know it was water. I really was scared. I didn't want to hit the ground. Uh, Revelio. Oh, shit. Let's use this one. No. This one. Descendo. Confringo. Defendo. Confringo. Stupid fight. Incendio. Descendo. Oh, damn, he broke right through my suit. Potato. Confringo. Incendio. Yo, my God, why do I keep trying to block hits that I can't? Confringo. Defendo. Incendio. Are we going to talk about how even with the, even with the mishaps, are they still coming? Are you serious? Descendo. Potato. Stupid. Confringo. Defendo. Incendio. Confringo. Descendo. Incendio. Defendo. Incendio. Are they done? Are they are they freaking done? Damn. Descendo. Why are we gonna talk about how even Lumos. with the mess ups, even with the little mishaps we have where I wasn't dodging correct, where I wasn't blocking correctly, we still dogged them? Revelio. Oh, that one right here. Lumos. Come here, little, little butterfly. All right. Capulso. Damn. Oh, it's not. I think I know what I'm supposed to do. Lumos. Depulsor. 
Lumos. Hey, I'm yo. I'm I'm really him. I'm really him. I'm really him. Like, ain't even no. It ain't, it ain't even enough for the beat. resting place. Lodgok said the helmet, a dead Ashwinder. Better show this to Lodgok. There must be some sort of mechanism for this doorway. Lord Gok, the sarcophagus had been raided. I found no helmet, only a dead Ashwinder. Damn, they got here first. We need to get it before Rookwood uses it to further ingratiate himself to Ranrock. I saw one of their campsites not far from here, but I fear you must go in alone. My fighting days are behind me. I'll head there now. Good. There's no time to lose. Get to that helmet before Rookwood does, or we will lose our chance at any leverage, no matter how small, with Ranrock. To think right. those wretched thieves have their hands on such a relic. I ain't gonna lie, this mission a little extensive. <laughs> this video probably more than likely this is gonna be over an hour. But I'm not really mad at that, man. We really getting through the, we pushing through the store. There they are. Oh my God! You let Nora back Oh my God! What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Um. Stop it. That went right through him? Are you serious? What what's going on? Oh Damn it, I keep trying to dodge shit that I can't dodge. Oh, what the heck? Places. What they got? Stupid boy. Sorry. <laughs> Expulsion. Stupid boy. Can bring up the window. Incendium. Expulsion. Stupid boy. Wanna look out? You're done. Can bring up places. Like I'm not him. Like I'm not We're him. Alright. Let's, let's let's recover the helmet. This is the Merlin trial I could have complete without that uh I think it's the Flipendo spell. I talked about in the last video. For the most part, I really do got the combat down pack. It's just that uh, when there's a bunch of enemies coming at you, like choosing which one. That's it. Oh, this snap. is for Rockwood. Oh, what's the light go out of your eye? Oh, really? Yeah, let's put that right here. The bolter. Damn it, you Can so lucky. Hang on. Come on, you're afraid to break that. Fair next time. Good pulse. You're the one who released the Stupid one. Defender. That shit in the gas close to me. Stupid one. 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 Stupid
Damn. I did it. Look, Look at that, that table on his head and all that. Like, shit, man. I'm different. I ain't gonna lie. It really ain't no other way, like, to put it besides. I'm him. <laughs> There's no telling what lies in wait for me in there. I retrieved the helmet from the Ashwinders. Well done. This is sure to impress Ranrock. The helmet shines even more brightly than I imagined. The etchings, the contour of the profile, remarkable. It looks stunning, Lodgok. I see why you wanted it back. You did the thieves a service by recovering it. I know many a goblin who would have killed for it. Ah, then I am glad to be rid of it myself. Thank you. This should earn Ranrock's trust. I will take it to him immediately. It may distract him from his search. His search? It, uh, it is merely an inkling. You have impressed me greatly, friend. I am glad that I trusted you. We what should is speak he searching soon. for? Best to keep our arrangement quiet for now. Many will not believe that our aims might possibly be aligned. Mm hmm. I ain't gonna lie. He a little fishy. I don't trust his ass in the slightest bit. But fucking Serona trust him. But she, I mean, she barely know the dude. Like, it is alright, man. Look, I'm gonna end the video here. It's gonna be a long ass video. But I hope you guys did enjoy. See you guys in the next one. Peace. Hello, friend. Oh, wait. I wonder if you might stop by the three broomsticks when you can. I would like your help with something. As I mentioned, I sit around Mrs. Hopkins, and she hasn't been herself in a while. I'd like to take you up on your promise to visit me. I'm heading to Kelcon soon. It's just south of Hogwarts. By the way, hope you're faring well with the blasting curse. It's still one of my favorites. Now that you've attended Beast's class, I've asked Deke to assist you in using the room to further your studies in that regard. Please meet him there when you can. I've not heard from my Uncle Roland in quite some time. 